Sonic the Hedgehog is a very iconic gaming figure. It was something I also grew up with and it's something that I could always play over and over and have fun with. This is mainly due to how well the levels were crafted and they were so enjoyable that I thought to myself, why not do a My Top 10 Levels video? I'd just like to point out this is my list of favourites. I'm sure you guys have your own, so feel free to comment down below to let me know. Well, let's dive in, shall we? Starting all the way down at number 10, we have Bingo Highway. I debated not putting this level on my list, as there is not a lot of good things about this level. For one, the music just doesn't fit the scene, and it's just plain annoying. Secondly, the level is hit and miss, depending on who you play as, because obviously in Sonic Heroes there are multiple teams that you can play through the game with. Um, if you play as Shadow and Sonic, however, I really like how the designers have tried to mix the gameplay up with some creativity. Gameplay wise, it's not too bad, and the visuals make me think of a level from Sonic's past, but in 3D, which I found pretty neat. If it wasn't for the fact that it resembles such an amazing level, I probably wouldn't have even put this on my list. Emerald Coast is a Dreamcast classic from Sonic Adventure. It was the first level to help introduce gamers to a 3D Sonic. I personally feel it did a good job. It had intense parts and really helped showcase a lot of Sonic's earlier moves from the game. This would be high on my list because I really like the visuals, however the gameplay just isn't that great. There's a lot of times where you die to needless deaths because the ocean is a one hit kill. There's a lot of thin piers which you can get stuck on and it really impedes your speed which really annoyed me because the visuals are nice, you're on a beach, there's orcas, there's intense race chase scenes and it's just a great first level but it's a shame that it doesn't really showcase Sonic that well because it's just surrounded by his weakness which is water and it's not even like in the original games where you can be under the water it's you hit the water and you're dead that's it so I would have put it higher but I, I really hate water so it has to be low on the list at number eight we have rooftop run this is probably the most up-to-date level I have put on this list this level just has everything, awesome music, intense gameplay and stunning visuals. I feel this is also the most well designed level in Sonic Unleashed. It does a great job of making sure you go fast, you are Sonic, this is how it should be, you should be fast, you shouldn't be impeded by obstacles. I feel this level also melds almost every gameplay mechanic from Unleashed into one bustling level. From side view sections all the way to the front view sections, there's homing sections and more. If I didn't grow up with Sonic, this might actually be higher on the list, but alas, nostalgia is too strong. Next up is Hilltop Zone. Hilltop Zone is basically a revamped version of Emerald Hill for me. It's got lush green fields and loop-de-loops, etc. However, this level has a bit more up its sleeve compared to Emerald Hill, which is only a beginner's area. The inclusion of jump boards and really intense race segments against lava really helps raise the excitement bar this time round. The music's not half bad either, it has a very funky feel to it, which I feel really fits the zone quite nicely. Lastly, the boss is one of my favourite bosses in Sonic 2. As your first time fighting this boss, it's quite stressful trying to learn the concept, the timing to dodge its attacks, and then learning when to strike Eggman while also being careful not to fall in the lava yourself. I just really liked it, and I liked uh, the design of his ship this time round, so kudos to that. This level is based around one of my favourite objects in the Sonic series, Springs. This level is once again very well crafted. It has everything you would want in a Sonic stage. It has speed, cool enemy designs, secrets and more. Even the music is top notch and is arguably one of my favourite pieces of music from the original game. It's just so catchy. I really wanted to put this high on my list but the boss in this zone is quite lacklustre. Which is a shame because the concept is quite neat. But Eggman is just too low to the ground, making it a cakewalk to him even when he isn't low, which is not how it should be. You should only be able to attack him when he is low, and due to this it has to be lower on the list. And coming in at the halfway point we have Speed Highway. Once again, Sega has found the perfect scenario for Sonic to adventure through. This time he is running at top speeds that can compete with even the fastest of cars. This level is just plain old fun. You can escape from cops, scale up and down skyscrapers and more. I don't know what it is about Sonic and Night levels, but they just seem to work. 
The only negative thing I really have for this stage is the music. It doesn't really know what genre it wants to be. And it doesn't really belong to the stage in my opinion. And for me this just doesn't make the level feel alive. Coming in at number 4 is Chemical Plant. Chemical Plant is a bit different in its own way. It has a robust robotic feel to it. It is set at what I presume is a harbour or near a pier. It contains a lot of water and has a few neat areas but it's a pretty standard level. The reason it's at 4 is mostly nostalgia but also due to certain segments that really help get your heart pumping. Later in the level you are introduced to raising water where the only way out is to climb a small corridor with moving blocks inside. I really like this area as it tries to teach you about Sonic's weakness which is water. However the stage has some kicking music which I really enjoy and is one of my favourite tracks from Sonic's early days. The level however ultimately falls short now that I have gone back and played it, otherwise it would have been higher on the list. City Escape is a level that sounds like it won't fit the theme of Sonic and allow him to speed away. However this is not accurate at all because Sea Escape works really well. The level is centered around you escaping a semi truck, but also trying to do as the title implies, escape from the city. This leads to some of Sonic's most epic scenes in his lifetime. Being charged by a truck is terrifying. You really want Sonic to outrun it because the truck scares you. Not to mention you do all this while on a skateboard. If that doesn't let you know Sonic is cool then I don't know what does. The music in the level is also quite exceptional. It's a song played by a real rock singer slash drummer called Ted Harris Poley. This makes it one of Sonic's earlier successes with actual music performances over computer generated music. This level definitely left a mark on me as a child and I still love it so much. If you've watched my recent Insightful Levels video recently, you might have expected this one to pop up at some point. Green Hill Zone is the stage that sets the rest of the player's expectations for the rest of the game and the rest of the series. You are in a lush green zone, inspired by California. The level is more than just visually appealing however, it's also very well designed because it needs to teach the player the mechanics of the game. This makes the stage feel that much better as you're playing through it. There is also so much experience as a first time gamer that it's hard not to appreciate this level. However I have another level which just about beats this one out. Casino Night just had to be my number one. From the moment you enter the stage as a child your mind is blown by just how much is happening on the screen. In case you haven't played this level Casino Night is a Las Vegas slash gambling themed level. The level visuals are breathtaking from the starry sky to the foreground objects which are themed to resemble a casino. There are bumpers which give the stage a pinball feel as well as slots where you can spend time gaining some serious coinage or even risk losing it all. I remember fondly as a kid getting to this level and just taking my time. I would literally slow down and enjoy the stage which is counterproductive in a Sonic game but it was well worth it. I feel this is what kind of persuaded me as well to keep Bingo Highway on the list because it reminded me so much of this amazing level. Thank you for tuning in guys, uh, this has been my first top 10 video, hopefully you enjoyed it. I would also like to apologise, this was actually meant to come out last Friday, however due to some work uh, changes I had to postpone it. For more top 10s and to check out my other series, Insightful Levels, be sure to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below. Also please leave some feedback and let me know what you liked and what you disliked about this series, uh, this will help me uh, redefine it for future ones.